Hiya, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. For this card you will need a card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths scored, folded in half and burnish. Two pieces of white cardstock at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths and a scrap of coloured cardstock which we will cut down once we stamp it. The stamp sets I'm using, two of them, oh it's three, I haven't got the other one, I'll get that in a minute, is Lily Pad Lake, just for the bird. Love what you do for this background stamp. And the other one is very vintage, let me get it. very vintage and all we want is this background stamp right. I have already cut out my bird but I will stamp another one and cut him out well I won't cut him out but I will stamp another one I've also used some gold thread. Just take the cover off. I put that on to stop it unwinding. So I'll be using this one I use silver, but this one I'm going to use gold. My background is going to be blushing bride and obviously my ticket, congratulations, is going to be balmy blue. So Get started, and I haven't even got any black ink. Not well organised on this card at all. Right, first of all, we'll stamp our bird. I just stamp him out. Don't worry, he won't go to waste. A bit dark around that edge. It won't go to waste. Um, he will be used in a different card. Clean it off. So, and I've already stamped and cut him out there. Oh, we also need the word congratulations. And that is from also from the Lily Pad Lake. Congratulations. Forgot to say that. And I'm just gonna stamp that there. Oh, that's no good. I've got, I've over stamped it. Let's do it again. And not over stamp it. It's better. Right. Clean my stamp off. Put that to one side and we'll cut it out. Right, I'll sort him out afterwards with the front. Mark on the other side and your Blushing Bride ink and the stamp background stamp from Love What You Do just ink it up and what we're going to do is 
stamp on to the left in the middle and then stamp off and then clean your stamp and then with the um, very vintage stamp stamp that on turn it round and stamp again that looks a bit yucky doesn't it don't like that full strength so what I'm going to do I'm get rid of that let's do it again but stamp off So good, let's get a bit of paper. Stamp off. Stamp and then stamp. Oh yeah, I like that better. And then use this full strength. So that up there. I like that better. And that's all you need to do for that. Close your ink up. Get rid of the scrap. I'll use that for something else, the other side. We'll get a new bit. All right. This will go on there like that, and this, once we cut it out, will go under there like that. So we need to banner it, make it a bit shorter, we don't need it that long. Actually, we don't need it that long. Banner that. And that's going to lay flat there. Get rid of that. Right, what we need to do is put some dimensionals on the back of this bird. We need this big one. Big one there. And a big one there. Did I get a little one on its head? Now you can see it. So I have got a little bit here from the edge that I used on my last card. That will go there. These little tiny ones will go on his feet. One. Mm. Waste not, want not. I'll stick this little tiny bit on his tail. Right. 
before we stick this on let's put this on the card base glue I seem to be doing a lot of white on white cards. That's mainly because I like that kind of card. Right. We'll get our gold. No. We'll take the backing off the bird. Tell you what, we never did. I never coloured the bird in. It's all right. I can do that afterwards. Right. I'm now wrapping this round my fingers about four times, four or five times. Cut it off. Hold it in the middle. And stick it. on the bird. I'm trying to stick the ends down. That's it. And then we just stick this there. I don't know if you can see that thread. You can just about see it there. Right, with a grey marker pen. Not marker pen, blender pen. The bulletproof pen. All I did was went round the edge of the bird, his feathers, just roughly went round. And then with a bit of orange, what's this one? This one is Craze on Craze. I just coloured in his beak. And that was all I done. Stick the sentiment on. Just stick that. Make sure it's straight. Did I do anything inside? I just stuck a bird inside, so we'll do that. Let's put the lid on the glue. stamp and we'll 
glue this inside. No, let's add the right mucking med muddle. This beak. Now we'll glue it inside. There's plenty of room in this card to write a message. Just putting him in the corner. And then I did, I added gems and I added gold ones. So I just placed three Gold gems. Oh my god. Don't know if I like that colour. Hmm. I do like that colour. I'm not a hundred percent sure on the pink or blushing bride. Oh well. Well that's the card finished. I hope you like it. If you do give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and press the bell button and you'll be notified of any more cards I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.